A group of meteorologists and scientists say there is no climate emergency. About 1,600 climate analysts signed the World Climate Declaration of the Global Climate Intelligence Group. I spoke with a geologist who has testified before Congress debunking what he calls climate myths. I asked him if there is, in fact, no climate crisis like these scientists and professionals are saying, then why is there so much hysteria surrounding it? This is what he told me. Please welcome Gregory Wrightstone, the executive director of the CO2 Coalition. Thank you for your time today, Gregory. Oh, good to join you. There's uh, a lot to go over, but uh, probably one of the main things here is there's been a lot of talk since Dr. John Clauser, who's the current Nobel laureate in physics, made the proclamation a couple of weeks ago. He stated there is no climate crisis. He was clear about that. One of the foremost scientists of our time. Uh, and we agree with him here at the CO2 Coalition. Uh, we see by looking at almost every metric, Earth's ecosystems are thriving and prospering. Crops are breaking records year after year, country after country, and humanity's benefiting uh, from this prosperity, crop growth, and frankly, a greening of the planet. So what is the climate industrial complex that you alluded to, and why would they be promoting these narratives? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, we know who they are. It's the media, it's the governmental bodies. Uh, what are the reasons they're pushing this? Basically, you're asking, why are they lying to us? And I, I can't see inside men's and women's souls to see their motivation. Uh, I hear of a lot of reasons. Is it funding? Is it control? Is it uh, they want to take down Western society and capitalism? I, I don't know what the reason is. I'm a scientist, and as a scientist, I can tell you this is what they're telling you. And on the other hand, this is what the facts really are. And that's my role as a scientist is to expose these, these um, the, the fake climate lies about things like, like fires and sea level rise and, and deserts that are actually shrinking, not expanding. Uh, by almost every, every metric, again, that we look at, life is good and getting better. Uh, we should celebrate that. But instead, what we have is the climate industrial complex pushing this notion of, of a climate crisis, of rising sea levels, of boiling oceans and fires and wildfires out of control uh, when we find just the opposite is occurring. There is also this phenomenon of increased crop yields. How do those two relate to each other? Oh, they're very, very closely related. Yes, we're in a warming trend, there's no mistake but it's been warming for more than 300 years. Uh, the first 250 years of that had to be entirely naturally driven. Uh, it's only the last 70 or 80 years that we started adding CO2. Warming benefits crop growth by extending growing seasons. Uh, we're seeing the coldest nighttime temperatures uh, wherever we look are increasing pretty significantly, and that's a good thing. Uh, we see that heat waves though are not. So if we have lower better, higher nighttime cold temperatures. That means growing seasons lengthen, killing frosts end earlier in the spring and arrive later in fall so you can get more plantings. So Gregory Wrightstone, Executive Director of the CO2 Coalition, thank you. Thank you very much.